Jehovah's your name. He's mighty in battle. Listen to me. You know, after we finished praying last night, I couldn't get on the main prayer line because my phones were messing around. I have three different phone lines. You know, in Ghana, I've just got all the different networks because I never know which one is going to disappoint me. And for some strange reason, all three of them were, were not working last night. But I managed to squeeze myself onto the partnership line. After we went to sleep and I woke up, you know, because I... After, after prayer, you're talking about probably about 2, 3 a.m. by me, by, you know, by me. And uh, I think I must have gone to sleep for about an hour or two. And I jumped out of sleep because I saw myself. And this, this, now this is strange because normally I'll see myself, you know, praying. But this time I saw or I heard this song in the spirit. That is the song that woke me up. And any time the Lord does this kind of thing to myself, God, I'm going to go back to sleep. If this song comes back to my remembrance, then I know it came from you. And so this morning, just getting ready, I was just doing some cleaning up around the house. And I was just coming to come on the scope and pray as normal. And within a split second, my memory was jogged and it was told to me. That it was me who gave you this song. As if I need to remind somebody this morning. Because I know there's a whole bunch of people who are confused this morning. That just in case you forgot what his name is. Within the last 24 hours so much has happened. And I know that sometimes it is done for you to forsake. It is done for you to get confused. Just in case... The devil is trying to give you amnesia. Just in case the devil is trying to make you feel as though there is no name that is powerful. I just, I, just, I just rose up this morning to give you a reminder that indeed Jehovah is his name. Am I making sense to you right now? Jehovah is his name. And listen to me, it doesn't matter the battle that you're fighting. You know why it doesn't matter? I don't want to sound like what you've heard before. But let me tell you something, Sister Michelle, because let me tell you something. The battle that you are going through is to give you experience. You know, every now and again, when you apply for a job, they look at your qualification. And it might be right, it might be true, Sister Cheryl, but you know what they look for? Most jobs now look for experience, Dr. Donna. They look for your experience. Do you have experience in the application that you have made? And let me tell you something. Oftentimes, the things that we pass through, it is not to kill. It is not to humiliate us. It is not to mess us up. It is not to break you down. It is not to frustrate you. It is not to put you in a place where you feel helpless or you feel silly. Really and truthfully, it is the father looking after his child and saying, I need to give you experience. You know, that's why they say that life. See, when you pass through the university of life, see, anybody who has hands-on experience, what is now, has more ability or you are more comfortable with somebody who has been through something. Step up, Brother David. I see David putting his hand up this morning. He said, Brother, you're talking about me. Ha! Huh? So what do you mean, Brother David? He said, you know, until I face Goliath, see, everybody who was in the army at that time, what is now, had no experience. Vakavasuka. Watch the demons gonna show up in a few seconds. What is now? I said, everybody who went to war with Saul as in the army of Israel to face Goliath, what is now, did not have experience on dealing with giants. The king himself at the time had no experience on dealing with giants. And so it would have been impossible when this giant from Philistine showed up and said, I need somebody who understands or who has experience in fighting. Somebody who qualifies to stand in my presence to engage with me in warfare. 
And they looked through all the army of Israel and recognized that there was not a single person who had an experience of dealing with giants in that realm. My God. Until the young boy who was sent by his father to come and get some information and to check upon his brothers. When he heard the roll call and he understood that within the army of Israel there was a void, there was a vacancy, there was a vacuum. There was looking for a giant killer and he recognized that by killing bears and by killing lions and by handling the animal kingdom, what is now? This thing is not a giant, but it belongs to the animal kingdom. And if I have handled the giants of the animal kingdom, then who is this? Who is this? Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? Oh, if you tell me to preach, you're going to be on here for a long time. <laughs> If uh, I put you through this experience so that you can have it on your CV, your resume, so that when you apply for that job, you can have on your resume, oh yes, I've dealt with stress before. You know, most times now when you go for the interview, they ask you sometimes family related questions. You know, they want to see how you handle things in a familial setting to see if that can be translated because there's something called transferable skills. When I was at university, I didn't understand, but whenever you was given a project, you know, it was at the back of it, it would be said that these are some of the transferable skills that you will gain by engaging in this project. And I want you to understand that within the confinement and within the text, there are some skills and there are some things that once you pass through what you're going through, once you are able to perform the experiment, once you are able to do what the Father is demanding from you, there are some skills that will be transferred into your life. Valabasia Veko Basuka Bilibria Sutalabasia my prayer, listen to me for you this morning, is that you recognize who you belong to. You recognize who you are. Because if you fail to recognize who you are and the reason why you're going through what you're going through, that is the only time the enemy gains advantage over you, men and women of God. Listen to the voice of the living God this morning. The only time you fail is when you stand still and you allow the enemy to gain advantage over you. But when you understand that the predicament that you are in, it is not to humiliate you. It is not a sign that the God that you serve is a failure. It is not a sign that the God that you serve is not able to do what he has decreed and what he has done in the past. It is merely for you to go through something so that you can come out from the other side. Listen to me. See why I can stand here, close my eyes and proclaim the word of the Lord? It's because of the things that I've been through as a young man. It is because of the things that have transpired in my life. You know why I can just jump on and begin to engage you in the word of God and to talk to you based upon what the Holy Ghost wants you to hear this morning? It is because of the thing that I went through five, ten years ago that I didn't have no sense. I didn't know was going to shape me. I didn't know was going to bring me to a place where I will have the experience and the confidence to handle things which are coming my way in the season. Now listen to me, some of you, you need to document what you're going through. You need to document what you're passing through. You need to write it down and what is now, let it be the testament. Let it be the testimony that on such and such a day, I went through this, but look at me now. Lift your hands and let's pray. Kabasia, the Lord has spoken to you. Valaba. Hey! Kabasi, Basu, Talala Basi.
us. Do you feel the presence of the Lord? Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. I'm going to give you one more round. I don't want you to type. I just want you to lift your hands. Trust me. Trust me. All I need you to do is surrender to him. Can we do that? Can we do that? I, I, listen, I promise you the demons are going to show up. But listen to me. Let me tell you something. Just put your focus. Can we do that? Don't type nothing. Just lift your hands as a sign of surrender and reverence to him. Can we do that? Can we do that? The demons are going to show up. But I want you to put your focus on him. If you want to hide your chat so you don't see nobody type anything. Listen, 
over the last couple of hours, I guess I understand why the Lord has given me this song. Because I've seen and I keep seeing people and I keep seeing things where we're just now people have placed themselves on a pedestal. Remember I told you a few days ago when he told me to tell you that if what is now, he must increase and everything else and everybody else must decrease. And this is a reminder to you of who he really is. This is a reminder to you. Listen to me. God, you know, doesn't have a complex. You know what I'm saying? The son of God. See, he knows who he is. But what this now, it is oftentimes the failure of you. Most people, when abuse comes in, it's because, you know, they have an identity crisis or they don't know what house they come from. See, when I'm royalty, I cannot be abused. Because let me tell you something. You see Prince Charles, Prince Harry, Prince William. From the very time, listen, from, from childhood, they are raised to know who they really are. They don't have an identity crisis. He knows the house is coming from. His grandmother is on the money that is spent in the UK. Are you following what I'm saying? So you cannot abuse somebody who is royalty. When you are royalty, you cannot be abused. My God. When you are royalty, you cannot be abused. So I need you to see yourself as he sees you. I need you to see yourself as he has decreed and declared concerning your life. Jehovah is his name. Am I making sense to you this morning? I said Jehovah is his name. He is mighty in battle. He is great. In the name of Jesus. I just rose, I listen, I just woke up this morning to let you know that we serve the true and living God. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. My God, Jehovah is his name. Lift your hands. Let me just pray over you before we go about our business today. Father, we bless the name of the Lord. Thanking you, Father God, for this month of November that we've experienced. Every prayer mantle member, Father God, wants to come and acknowledge you. To give you the praise and the glory. To say that you are God and God alone. That there is nobody like you. Jesus, we thank you for your protection. We thank you for guiding us. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we pray right now for those who are affected, the body of Christ in Texas, Father God, and all over the world, persecution that is going on against the called out ones, against the saints. Father God, we bring that before you in the name of Jesus. You are the God who knows and who understands, the God who answers by fire. Lamb of God, King of Kings, I thank you and I pray that, Father God, you will lead us and you will show us the way to go. Because, Father God, our trust and our belief is in you. Lord, every hand lifted up, I want you to bless. Every hand that is lifted up, I want you to anoint. Every hand that is lifted up, I want you to position. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, there are those dealing with issues. There are those dealing with circumstances that, Father God, only you know. And, Father God, it is only by your hand and it is only by your command. Father God, we repeat, Father God, what we've seen done in the Bible. Listen to me. I just, I just, I just heard this. That's why it's very important when, when we're praying. Don't engage in the conversations, okay? I don't need to tell you that. You know, some people in the midst of prayer, that's when they are saying their hellos and their good mornings and they're having their own personal conversations. I don't know why you're here because you're missing it. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're missing it. Because listen to me. This is the opportunity. Listen. See, a child, most of the time, a child, a baby, as they grow, will imitate what they see. Am I making sense? We imitate what they see. So whether it's from a parent, whether it is from social media, whether it's from TV, if they are left unchecked and it is a negative influence, guess what will happen? They will repeat. So if it's a dance, if they see they're, they're watching MTV and they see Beyonce shaking her hips, guess what? It comes on a couple of times on TV. Guess what that child is going to do? That child is going to imitate that dance. And you try to figure out, where, where did that child learn that from? That didn't, you know, he or she didn't learn it from me. Well, the TV has become their teacher. You know what I'm saying? The TV has become your teacher. 
And so we're just now, that is why the relationship with God has to be so tight. Because then you can only replicate, because that's what he wants you to do, what you have seen him do. That's why Jesus would say, you know what, I only do what my father tells me. I saw Satan fall like lightning. And so what is that any circumstance or any issue that comes into my life, I need to repeat that Satan, you know, I was there when you fell like lightning. Because guess what? I'm in Christ. I'm hidden in him. So whatever he sees, I've seen it too. Whatever he saw, I also saw. Are you, am I making sense to you? So my relationship has to be so tight. My God, that is why the fight is the Sheila, is to prevent you from getting to know. That's why, listen to me, you can even be in church, safe, sanctified, and have leadership who have no desire for you to get close to God. Because what is now, as long as they have you following them, they are the ones who will feed you in drips and in drops. But what is now, when you have a relationship with God, all you need to do is grab a hold of the Bible. And what is now, what you see him do, you imitate. That's why he told you to occupy until he comes. If there was nothing to occupy, he wouldn't have told you to occupy. He said, occupy until I come. Be the landlord. Take control. I'm giving over dominion and power to you. Occupy until I come. There's a whole bunch of people now who are tenants. And, I, and listen, and, and I'm not just talking physically. I'm talking spiritually. A whole bunch of believers who are tenants. When the Lord has told you, occupy until I come. Take control. Be in power. Take control until I come. Anything that is trying to dominate you, that is not the way. Listen to me. God, listen, listen, listen. He never told things to occupy. So you, brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so, you are the one that I'm talking to. Occupy until I come. Look around you. Are you occupying? Or is somebody occupying and telling you what to do? Be honest, are you occupying or is somebody occupying and telling you what to do? He said, occupy until I come. I need believers that will rise up to the challenge. Occupation. What is your occupation? My God, I'm talking about job that you do. What is your occupation? Occupy. Occupy. In Jesus name father we bless your name for this hour come live in us father God and I will ride on eagles wings as a song that also gets dropped in my spirit come live in me oh my God take over Come live in me, and I will ride on ye gills wings. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's blessed me with another song. Yes, Lord. Valavasi, besukabasi, faba. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray you're blessed. I pray that you have a fruitful day. Your day is coated in the blood of Jesus. There is nothing that the devil can do to take you off course. You are in the right place at the right time. Everything that happens today will be because heaven has ordained it. In Jesus' mighty name, your day is blessed. You are blessed. You are a blessing. You will be a blessing to somebody today. The words that will come out of your mouth will propel somebody from a place of famine to a place of abundance. Ah, yes, Lord. Vakabasia. Listen to me. I said, listen, listen to me. Whatever you speak today into somebody's life will take them out of a place of famine into a place of abundance. Receive what the Spirit of the Lord will say to you this morning. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. It's okay. You know, the devil showed up late. As always, you know, the devil is always late. But we bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. God is good. God is on our side. You know, we, 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 we have a testimony of who he is to us. Okay? We have a testimony of who he is to us. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Go have a blessed day. Okay? It is well. It is well. It is well. It is well. 
in Jesus name. Please come on tonight, okay? I know that my phone has been messing around, so I don't want you to stop coming on the prayer line in the evening. Come on in the evening. It's rain here, thunder, lightning. You know, it's so funny. You know, uh, and, and maybe this will bless somebody. You know, I have, uh, I have internet, right? So this is like in Ghana, this is like the portable internet. This you can go out and still have internet, you know, Wi-Fi, okay? You can go to some, well, not, not over the whole country, but you, could, you can go to certain places and it will still work. And also I have, you know, like broadband in the house. Now, you know, it's so funny because uh, at the end of the month, I tried to pay it online, but it wouldn't work. So, you know, I went to the mountain, so I paid all my bills. The only thing I haven't, I didn't pay, you know, the bill that I didn't pay last month was, um, was uh, you know, my, uh, my internet, my broadband. So, yesterday I was at home. Now, remember two days ago, I told you it rained heavily, you know, very bad. So, listen to this, it will bless you. So, uh, you, know, um, you know, I could see that the internet wasn't working. All of a sudden, I just saw the lights flashing. Now, hold on a minute. Why is my internet working? Because I know I didn't pay the bill. So I put my wife and said, hey, have you paid the internet? She goes, no. I said, well, the internet is working. So I switched from my, you know, uh, I, I, you know, I switched from my portable Wi-Fi to the broadband. And it was working fine. So I'm like, wow, well, I was just laughing. I'm like, you know what? Hey. And then by the end of the day, I guess they realized, you know, whatever it was, they realized, the hold on a minute, that brother didn't pay this bill. So, you know, they cut it back off. And, you know, my wife was saying, well, you know what? It's a blessing. You know, so I don't know what it means to anybody. You know, so I don't know what it means to anybody. For about 24 hours, hey, Kalalabasia, a window of opportunity will be opened up to the believer in Jesus' name. And we claim it in Jesus' name. We claim it. You know, I was just like, I'm like, okay, you know. Because, you know, most of the time, I'm hardly around. So, you know, I pay all this bill and I don't even use it. You know, so if I'm, you know, Sister Mary, you know, my wife said, you know, you, you know, you need to cut down. You know, on this because you pay all this money for the, for the internet, you don't even use it. I'm like, yeah, that's true. You know, so yesterday was so funny. That's the only bill I didn't pay, and I had internet for like 24 hours. Listen to me. Listen, I don't know what it means to somebody because I repeated it. I pray that word just now for how Baba Sia before this year is out, a 24 hour window will be open to prayer mantle and whatever it is that you need to get within that 24 hours get because if listen to me that window will close i'll be serious you know prophet khan prophet khan shared a testimony years ago and you know i think when he was younger you know of the woman of god that the lord you know uh prophesied to you know he prophesied to the woman about some money that she was going to come into and he had given the woman some prophetic instructions to say that you know the lord said you know, uh, this was going to happen, but I need you to empty your account. Now, that's when you know the true man of God, okay? You know, not, not these jokers that are coming up now. So, they empty your account. And I think he gave, uh, he gave a couple of days, X, X, Y, Z is going to happen. So, he said, after he gave the prophecy, he got nervous because he's like, God, if this, if, if this doesn't come true, I'm in trouble. So, he went into prayer. And he told the woman to call him after the prophecy had come to pass. And he said, the woman kept calling him because nothing was happening. You know, so the time frame was getting ready to expire. So the woman called him a false prophet, telling him that he's a liar, telling him that nothing is going to happen. You know, he, uh, the, the words he gave was not true. So Prophet Khan said, you know, he was pleased because said, God, you know, this, this is going to hurt my ministry. So I think it was a Saturday. Some of you re remember the story, you know, you've heard him say. So it was like a weekend and the bank was closed early. So guess what? He said, the woman went to the bank. You've heard him say, the woman went to the bank, went to the ATM, and when she went to check her account, see, she was supposed to give, all she had in her account was about $10 or something. She didn't give it. So she had in her account, Sister Mary, you remember? About, let's say, I think it was like a million and $10. So she calls prophet, prophet in and said, what should I do? He said, well, since you didn't obey the prophecy, take out, take out as much as you can. Because I, I can't promise you that by the next day it will be there. Now that's when you know the true prophet. So listen to me. Oh, Kabbalah, we decree and declare that what happened yesterday is not by coincidence because that word doesn't exist in the word of God. For those who have been faithful in their giving, for those who have been faithful in their prayers, yes, Lord, I feel that. Kabbalah, Moshe, because that's the two instructions that the Lord gave us: giving and praying. 
those who have been faithful, may the angel of the Lord assigned to prayer mantle, backed up by the prayers of the saints and the Holy Ghost. Father, give a window of opportunity for the next 24 hours to the believers and to the prayer warriors in Jesus' name. Open up the windows of heaven. Pour out a blessing so that there will be not enough room for us to receive in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you. I'm done. The Lord bless you. I'm done. Vakabasia. Besuba. Zibi. Bababasia. Sister Cheryl, what's those numbers? Valaba. Explain to me before I leave. Kaba. Sibi. Libria. Zobro. Siba. Bebe. Kaba. Libri. Baban. Liba. Sutaba. Zebro. Kaba. Si. Vekeba. Zuki. Libria. Zebro. Diba. Sibi. Braba. Sutalalaba. Oh, what's today's day? Hold it a minute. What's today's day? 7, 11, 17. Okay. 7, 11, 17. Listen to me. Whatever is in today, may the good Lord blow your mind with it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Make sure you come and testify, okay? Make sure you come and testify. Make sure you come and testify. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I'll be on the prayer line. It's going to go crazy on the prayer line. And I'm going to go fix my phone. Okay? I'm going to go fix my phone. In Jesus' mighty name. Because I need to be on the prayer line. And I'm going to be ready. Okay? See, in America, you know, you guys write the date. You know, you put the month first. See, I, I used to get confused. I said, Prophet Khan, what's this? So you put the month first, then the day, and then the year. Well, guess what? The right way should be the day, the month, and the year. Okay? Repent. Repent. I uh, Prophet God, what's this? Why is the month first? The day should be first. You know, it's, it's, it's Tuesday. So guess what? It should be seventh first. It's Tuesday of the 11th month, 2017. So how did you guys come about with this thing where you write the month first? Somebody explain to me. That's the military way. Why is it the military way? You know, do, do the military look at the man first before the day? When they wake up, they look at the man first? That makes no sense to me. Shouldn't the right way be the seven? Come on. Come on. You, you know I'm telling the truth. It's the day first. The day first, then the month, then the year. Oh, come on. I think it's only America that does that. Every, every other country does it the, the, the UK way. Am I right? You know I'm right. My way is the military. No, the devil is a liar. What do you mean military way is? Military way is no, no, I don't believe that. I need to, I, I, I'm going to go study. Our way is the military way. It may be to you. It might be the, That's what you people call it. But we don't call it like that. Let me see. Trinidad does it the day first. Yeah, Ghana, we do it the day first. UK, we do it the, the Queen's way, the English way. That's the right way. Listen to me. Listen, I'm gonna find I'm gonna find Bible scriptures to back up, you know, what I'm saying. Trust me, I'm gonna find. Let me see. Let me see if I can quickly. There's a book that just came into my memory. Let me see. Give me a few minutes. I'm gonna find Bible scriptures to back it up. Hey! God, give me a word. Don't go. But now I'm going to prove all your, your, all your theories wrong. So that you cannot repent. Let me see. Come on, Holy Ghost. Show me something. <laughs> show me something. Show me something. Let me see. Let me see if I can back it up. If I go silent, that means I can't back it up. Let's see. Oh, Ezekiel chapter 1, I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Ezekiel, Ezekiel, listen, Ezekiel chapter 1 says, Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day. Well, you know, the Bible actually gives you the year first. Year, month, and day. That's in Ezekiel. 
I'm going to do my study. I'm going to come back to that, okay? I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to that. Because we, we need to sort this thing out. When I saw that now, I said, Sister Cheryl, I was thinking, like, what's these numbers? I mean, I have to look at one, 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 I, had, I saw one, one, seven, one, seven. I'm like, what's that? See, that was confusion. But has she done seven, eleven, seventeen? What's, what's, what's Exodus seven? Let me see. Exodus, Exodus seven, eleven. Let's see what's there. That'll be the last one. Exodus seven, eleven. Let's see. Exodus seven, eleven. What does it say? There. And listen, I'll, I'll go and do my study. I'll come back tonight with Revelation, okay? Everybody have your scriptures ready, then, then we're going to talk about it. See, see, my sister, you know, grew up in Jamaica, you see, like I grew up in, you know, I grew up in Ghana, you know, then I, then I moved to London, then I went, when, when I went to America, I'm like, what's this? What's wrong with you? Why are you people changing everything? It don't make no sense. You know, I see Prophet Khan writing dates on the checks. I'm like, what's this? Or writing, I'm like, what's that? Just put the date first, month, and the year. That's the, that's the right way of doing it. In Jesus' name. So we'll see, okay? When in America, do America, that, that's true. I can't argue with that, that's true. That's what they say when you go to Rome, do, do what the Romans do. But guess what? I'm in Ghana. So we're doing it the way Ghana does it. When I come to America, you can hold me to that, okay? In Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a blessed day. It's fun, you know, it's, it's, it's good to, you know, just have fun as well. God bless you, okay? I'll see you tonight. Yeah, but yeah, and all, all the Caribbean countries, I think, you know, do it the way that the British does it, I believe. I think it's only America that does it that way. The America always try to be different. The God bless them. Air all your prayer requests, send it to prayer mantle. Okay? Listen. Don't forget about the prayer center, you know. We still need millions to build a prayer center. Okay? You're giving to. Thank you for your support. I'm so blessed that prayer mantle is still standing strong. Okay? In Jesus' name. So, continue to support. Do what you do. Remember the farming project too, okay? Remember the farming project. Okay, I'll check numbers 33. Okay, I'll do that, okay? In Jesus' name. Have a blessed afternoon. Have a blessed day. Be safe out there. Play the blood of Jesus over your house, your children. Your children, I think with the Texas, and I think the youngest person was seven months old. I think so, seven months old. Seven months old. And I think the oldest person was in their seventies, if I'm right. See the number seven? The devil is a liar. Okay? And listen to me, politicians ain't gonna, listen, politicians don't have the answers because, you know, according to the law, this person should have been stopped, right? According to the law, because he had a record. So he shouldn't have been able to buy the guns. So you there trusting in Mr. Trump and you know, listen, wherever the politicians, they, they, they don't have the answer. You understand? They, we pray for them. We pray the will of God. But trust me, if you're there thinking that, oh, the person I like is in power, so I'm okay. You're in trouble. You are in trouble. They don't have the answer. There was, I think there was a, there was a Hollywood actor who made a statement, you know, basically, I think, uh, one of the politicians had said something about, uh, you know, praying for the people in Texas. And, you know, he, you know, basically he was trying to mock, okay, he was trying to mock prayer. And, pe and people came after him on social media. See, listen to me. See, listen, listen. 17 months, 70, yeah. Four generations. One family lost a whole bunch of people. Listen to this. Listen, I don't understand people. You see, you know, like this guy, this, this actor, you know, who's talking, thinks he's smart. Sir, you don't pray. There's not, you're not a prayerful person. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not a prayerful person, right, what makes you think that in the day of disaster you can go to the bank of prayer and withdraw protection? You know what I'm saying? If you haven't saved in Bank of America or Chase or, you know, all the other banks that are there, what makes you think, if I don't have an account with Chase, how can I walk into Chase right now and say, Chase, listen, I need help. I need some money. I need to pay my bills. Chase people like, I'm sad you save with us. No. Well, if you don't save with us, what, how can you walk in here? Do you understand? How, Sister Michelle, how can you see? That's why I don't understand people. How can you walk into Chase, Sister Michelle? I don't have an account with Chase. If I go in there, they're going to usher me out. They're going to escort me. I say, sir, you better leave before we call the security. 
Do you see what I'm saying? So how do you, when disaster comes, right, you're not a prayerful person. You've never gone down your, on your knees to pray. But Sister Mary, when, it's almost as if that when trouble comes, then you want to come and blame God and say, but you haven't gone on your knees to pray. Do you see what I'm saying? You're not praying. But yes, do you want to be the one who has the voice? Do you listen to me? Listen, what I've, I've been saying to you, what, listen, the devil is frustrated. That is why he's going. Listen, what is happening is an attack against the body of Christ. And, and primarily, it is against those who are praying because, listen, you are frustrating the devil's plans. Are you hearing me? You are frustrating the devil's plans because you are praying. All year, listen, when we pray, we've exposed stuff in Hollywood. We've, you know, God has given us information, certain things that we prevented from happening. You know what I'm saying? This small little group, not just us, there's people prayed all over the world. Those who have been called by God, intercessors, gone down on our knees, clapping, stomping, clapping, stomping. And what is now? The devil will bring angels on periscope to mock us, to humiliate us, to insult us, to do all kinds of things. And every day we wake up and we do the same thing. You know, the lights go out. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm on the mountain. Sometimes I just can't come on. But what is now? There is still a select group of people who are still praying every day. So every day, what is now, there is an assault. Because listen, listen, he said, I will build my church so that what? The gates of hell shall not prevail. So what is now? Every day, the gates of hell is not prevailing. Now naturally, ask yourself this. Naturally, when somebody is preventing you from doing what it is that you want to do, what happens to you? You become frustrated. You become fed up. You, be, you become tired. So guess what you do? You act out. You act out. See what happened? You know, most of these, you know, um, countries that, you know, the Arab Spring, whatever you want to call it. See, the people have been oppressed for too long. That's why the guy in Saudi Arabia, he's got sense to realize that, listen, if I don't bring about change now, a time will come where, because now 70% of the population in Saudi Arabia, guess what? They are, you know, young, you know, they're, I think they're in the 30 or 40. 70% of the population. Do you understand? And this generation are used to, they see or they know what is going on around the world. So you try to oppress them. A time will come, whether you like it, yes or no, where they're going to rise up and rebel. Because that is just the order of the day. Every empire has fallen. So a time will come. So guess what? Now he's trying to do some stuff. To make the people feel as though, you know what? Yeah, this guy, you know, he sees, you know, you know, you know, he, you know, he thinks like us. You understand? Every morning before you go to work. Every evening before you go to sleep, prayer mantle has three different types of prayers going on every day. Who, if the Lord told me that at the beginning, they'd be like, God, you know, I can't do that. You know, God, that's impossible. That's what I'm saying. But every day we've got this thing going on. Every day we are before the face of the Lord. The devil is frustrated because we are blocking and we are hindering. Some of you, death was supposed to have come to your house this year, but they couldn't. Death was trying to knock on your door, but guess what? You didn't open the door because you understand the power that you possess. Now, before you just used to open your door and let anybody in, but now you check and then you stand at the door and say, who, who is there? What do you want? Or sometimes, you, you, know, you, you know that small hole you know, you know, in the door, you look and say, ah, I, I ain't let you in. Then you, know, you just pretend like you're not there. See, these are things, skills that you've learned. The devil is mad. Listen, it is tactical, it is strategic, it is deliberate, what the devil is doing. It is, it is tactical, hear me, I said it's tactical, it's deliberate. It is tactical and it's deliberate. As if, because he could go anywhere, but he's coming to the church. So that we become weak and scared, but I pray. That the God that we serve will comfort those who need comfort in this season. In Jesus' mighty name. I leave you with the peace of Jesus Christ. Valavasia. Besukaba. Bilibria. Sundibilibiliaso. Help me to do what the Lord has called the ministry to do. I, I keep praying that God will blow somebody's mind financially. 
that when it happens, God, they will remember prayer mantle. I pray God chooses the right person. Okay? I pray God chooses the right person. Okay? I pray God chooses the right person. The God will blow somebody's mind. Okay? The God will blow somebody's mind. Because the prayer center needs to be built. Okay? The prayer center needs to be built. In Jesus' name, God bless you. I'll see you tonight. See you later. I can't say bye-bye no more. See you later. See you later. I have to make a decision about patient and direction. Oh, you need directions? Okay, email me again. I'll give you a call. Okay? I'll give you a call. Okay? Need direction? You know, let's pray and let's see what the Lord will have us do, okay? In Jesus' and more grace to every single person too. In Jesus' name. God bless you. It is well. You hear me? It is well. God bless you. What's the email? Sister Mary, can you put the email address up, please? Father, bless us. Father, bless us. Father, bless us. I worship you alone. Bless us, God. In Jesus' name, bless us. Fulfill your mandate in our lives. In Jesus' name, bless us, God. Thank you. Prayermantle3 at gmail.com. That's the email, okay? Take a screenshot. Save it. Email me. Okay, I'll give you a call. Okay, those of you that the Lord is speaking to, listen to me. And 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 uh, and and um, you know, those of you that the Lord is speaking to, specifically in the financial area, don't be, you know, don't hold back. Let's talk. Okay, I always say, God, that's one area God will talk to you. Believers, God will talk to you in that area because there's a whole bunch of stuff that we need to do. Okay, so if anything, just email me and, I, and we'll pray. People have testimony. We pray. Okay, whatever the Lord told you to do, you do it. Okay? In Jesus' name, God bless you. It is well. Hey, I feel that. Kabasir. In Jesus' name.